guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a lot of stuff to do so i am going to be teaching you how i get my best makeup ever for photographs like all my tips and tricks because i have like other videos to film today i have like content to create because you know like this is the life that i'm trying to choose or whatever so i'm going to be teaching you all of my photo perfect makeup hacks so let's get started all right so let's get started so of course you want to watch stress this in like all of my videos you want to start off with a really really good base um that way you know especially if you're gonna be outside taking pictures you need that makeup to last in the sun you don't want to melt off if it's cold and you're dry skin you know what i mean you don't want to be like flaking up nothing like that you want this problem you just don't so we're gonna get started i'm gonna take my elf all nighter microfine setting mist all of the products that i'm using have lasted the distance with me um and they've been great products so this is like the products and the tips and tricks all together that I've used to get the best picture quality makeup wise. Um, maybe I should do like a separate video on like how I edit my pictures. I try not to do a lot of editing though, cause I'm lazy. I'm extremely lazy. Same thing with my videos. Like I'm so lazy y'all. I just, I just don't have the strength to be sitting here trying to edit no video, edit no photos. Like, so I need to really be like, what you see is what you get. So, once I be done take these pictures, then I done, done all this, trying to get the sun, trying to get the angles, all that. That need to be enough, because I do not be feeling like editing all that. Like, it's too much. It's just... Like, if I got to do all that, then I'm just going to be damn ugly, cuz. Who got time for that? And then you got to remember everything that you did so that in each picture you look, you know, pretty much the same. Because, you know, people will try to come for you and be like, oh, she look different in all her photos, this, that, and the third. I ain't got time for it. <laughs> so, yeah, girl. So, we're taking our Elf Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. My brows are tinted, um, so I don't have to do my brows. Um, yeah. And I love that. All right, so for, for the best skin-like finish, you already know, you already know. If you ain't got this primer by now and you still on my channel, what is you doing? I have not done my job as a makeup artist if I have not told y'all to get this primer. This will make any foundation work so much better. I promise, I promise. And I don't say that about a lot of products, so you know. Gonna warm that up a little bit and press it in to the skin. It's just so good. I don't say that about a lot of stuff, do I? I feel like I only say it a lot, but I'm only saying it about a certain select few products also, so you know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, we're gonna let that get a little bit, a little bit zacky. <laughs> and now we're taking the e.l.f. Pro Matte Putty. Y'all already know how I feel about this as well. And I'm only putting this in areas where my pores are a little bit larger because like I just said, I don't like having to edit pictures. And also I feel like when you edit, no matter, you can always tell photos that are just like edited to look good. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you don't want that. Like, and also when you're in public, people, you know, people will see you, you know what I mean? Like there's a world outside of your Instagram, so. I like for people to see me and be like, oh my gosh, she is so pretty, girl. Your makeup looks so good. And I'd be like, thank you. But I'm that girl. Like, you compliment me, we friends. Like, <laughs> every time somebody, I'd be like, thank you. And I know people probably be like, this bitch so fake. But it's really my genuine expression. Because I just be like, you think I'm pretty? Thank you so much, girl. Let me tell you. So this is this, this is that. I'm not one of them girls that's going like, you know, like, oh, I don't know where I got it from bitch rainbow that's where you got it from ho. <laughs> but no I'll, I will tell you anything for real for real I just think I think it's harder right now you know everything going on people wearing masks and everything I just think that it's a little bit harder so like really you know just like step out there and be like oh my god you're so pretty but not me but girl now you you doing that shit I will tell you in a heartbeat <laughs> Cause I ain't no hating ass female like. 
But I also don't like females that don't, and it's not even just females. Let me rephrase that like, because I hate, you know, like females. You know what I mean? Why not say that? Like, I hate when people are like females, that's just so ghetto, you know, girls. That's a little bit softer, you know what I mean? But anyway, I hate um, people that don't know how to take compliments. And this goes for guys as well. Because, you know, sometimes guys just be having that big ass level head. And he just think he king almighty like he Chris Brown or something, you know what I mean? I just don't like it when people don't know how to take compliments. You know, you be like, oh my God, you're so pretty. And they be like, mm. But bitch, okay. Your face might be cute, but your soul is black. See you in hell, bitch. You know what I mean? Just like, ugh. There's no need for that. But anyway, we're going in with color corrector. You know the drill with color corrector. Especially when you're doing pictures because, you know, you need all of that clocked. You want to be the filter, not need the filter. You know what I mean? Like, of course, we all love a little cute, real cute filter. Y'all know how I feel about my faux filter number two. That's my favorite filter on Instagram. But yeah, girl. Get your color correct, you know, that way you still look the same regardless. Like, the only thing changes the look colored eyes because you're scared to put contacts in. And when I say you, I'm talking about me because I'm, I'm terrified. <coughs> How to do it? I don't know. I know I need to grow up and, like, you know, do it, but, bitch, I'm scared. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to take this little brush and blend it out. You're going to really make sure if you don't really, uh, do a good job of blending it before. If anything, blending is gonna be key right now. I'm watching the office, guys. But yeah, blending is key to getting everything flawless, especially for your pictures. And you almost wanna over blend a little bit because, um, you know, the camera picks up everything. Like there's no hiding on camera. And then like the more you, the more messed up something is and the more you have to go in and edit it, it will show. You know what I mean? Like if you just got to like really blur something out, it will show. All right, so now we're going in with foundation. I just feel like, mm, <laughs> So I'm taking the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. So when you're taking pictures, of course you don't want to look as flawless as possible, unless you know you're doing like a different type of shoot. But nine times out of 10, you're just trying to get that cute ass picture for Instagram so you can see you, girl. I've been there. So you wanna get a foundation that's gonna be softer, more medium coverage, and that's buildable and breathable, and also one that, really focuses on smoothing so yeah and then also it's like i'm in charlotte so why wouldn't i do a more free foundation you know what i mean so we're just applying this all over and because i want a more an even more you know like skin like finish i'm gonna blend this out with my beauty vendor even though i usually just been using i said beauty vendor <laughs> beauty blender because usually i blend this out with the morphe foundation brush but no not today um and i am in the shade filter rich 32. so we're gonna take our damp beauty blender i don't know why i think i'm like coming down with like a lisp or something I'm like girl i don't think it's just a little southern twang no more you know and so we just want to pounce this all into the skin it's until we're beautiful. That's how long. Once you feel pretty, then you may stop. All right, so it's my favorite part. This is concealer. So I just uploaded a video on, um, you know, how to up your concealer game. So I'm going to kind of go into detail a little bit on that because I feel like why not? Because when you're taking your pictures of course you don't want flashback um and these this these also i don't know if i mentioned this previously but these hacks work if these are professional pictures and also you know um just you know your regular iphone selfies or whatever or smartphone selfies i don't want to be like you know like prejudiced against anyone that doesn't have an iphone but you know whatever so you know you want to apply your concealer in the normal way that you normally do so this is just like how i apply mine this is the first concealer i go in with as i mentioned this one is going to be more creamier than your next concealer because this one is to really sculpt out the face and that's what creamier concealers are built for and they give you a more skin like finish versus a liquid concealer which is for more defining and brightening like that so that's why i do a liquid on top of a cream and i just love that combination 
So, and now I feel like, you know, it may make a little bit more sense, you know, now that you're like seeing it on the face and on the skin. So hopefully, you know, that makes sense. So I'm just going into the areas that I want to highlight on my face with a cream concealer, period. Now, I feel like that said it. <laughs> right now, I hope I don't be talking too much and confusing y'all, you know? But I try to like keep rephrasing it in different ways just so that, you know, if it didn't make sense the first time, it makes sense the second time. Cause I'm one of those people and be like, wait a minute, what the hell did she just say? And then like five minutes later, it'll make sense. So yeah. So this is the um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C5. And applied all over the face. It's creamy. If you want to, you can let it sit. But if you're, I mean, it, for a creamier one, you really don't need to let the creamier one sit. Now, if you want to let your liquid set a little bit, that's more acceptable, you know, just so that it builds a little bit more. But also, if you're new to it, I don't really recommend letting it sit. The pigment is going to be there regardless, but it gives you a more mattifying finish. Um, that trend just became popular, but I mean, drag queens have been doing it for ages. That's how I learned it. Um, so yeah, so I like to blend the center first and then the under eyes after my center of my face. Um, I don't really crease under my eyes also. So if you're prone to like creasing, you want to go ahead and set in those lines because otherwise it's going to just sit there. And then when you start to go get ready, so, you know, go blend it out, you're having to work even harder to conceal any, you know, like creasing, any lines or anything like that. If you are one that's prone to creasing under your eyes, you can do like an eyeshadow primer under there. So where I use the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Concealer just now as my first concealer, my creamy concealer, you could go in with the P. Louise base because that is technically an eyeshadow primer and it's built to prevent creasing on the eyelids so that you'll get a popping eyeshadow look, right? So you will want to go in with an eyeshadow primer, probably that one, um, just so you don't have to use so much different products. Or you could do an eyeshadow primer before you do your color corrector step. That way, you know, it's already smooth, smooth and defined and everything like that. But I never do that just because I don't, I don't, I don't crease under my eyes, but I can do a video like, um, showing how to prevent creasing under the eye. You know what I mean? Just for a dramatic effect, you know, just so you can like see it in action in case, you know, you're a visual learner versus, you know, just hearing me say what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Cause you know, that makes sense. And the key to also your concealer, you want to blend it out where you place it. So you see I'm like blending it right here because it was placed right here. You don't want to, you know, tap this in and then jump down and start blending over here. You know what I mean? So you want to go ahead and blend it out where you put it. I feel like I say that a lot also, but I also just feel like it doesn't get paid any attention. So you're really just pushing in right where you put it. So that's why you want to be careful with how much product that you use. I mean, people say I use a lot of product, but blends out good though don't 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 it don't it <laughs> all right so now for my second concealer the liquid concealer i'm taking the Too faced born this way sculpt and concealer and natural beige and i only take this in the areas that i just want super bright so of course under my eye this is how that you know that pop under eye comes to life and then I'm gonna take a little bit on the nose because I'm gonna be outside and I just want that cute little button effect. So it looks like that. Um, this one is where you can go super duper 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 light. You know, that whole thing about only go two to three shades lighter. That's people that don't know how to blend. As you can see, the natural beige is nowhere near my foundation color. And then I mean, also, you know, if you're new to makeup, how do you know it's two to three shades lighter? You know what I mean? Like, because when you're in the store, think about it. You got this foundation here, and then you have, like, the next couple foundations that's a little bit lighter. So the concealers are set up the same way. So you may be getting a foundation that's technically the same color as you. I mean, a concealer is technically, like, your color, but the undertones are just different. You know what I mean? So that's where it comes to, like, knowing and having confidence in what you're doing. Like, you don't have to listen to everybody because that's just wrong, like... You know what I mean? Like that may be why 
it's looking how it's looking. Cause you actually didn't go to the three shades out there. You just went down one. You went further in your own shade just with a different undertone. You know what I mean? And just like, look at that. It's snatched, it's lifted, you know? And I like to keep that line right here cause it just gives, you know, like Botox. You can blend this line off if you want to, but I I just don't. I just like the, you know, I just I just love that that cut. <laughs> you just gotta give me that look when you give me that look. Then... Excuse me, you're a hell of a guy. I mean, my 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 like pelican fly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and blend out that tip on my nose. I got a little bit too much on there, but it's okay. I'll fix it with contour. So that may be why you're not like seeing a difference when you're doing your highlighting and your contour. I don't know. Maybe I should do a separate video on all of this. That way you can see how it like plays in together with your contour. If that makes sense in your blush and everything. Y'all already know how I trip on so bad about that blush. So whatever. So for contour today, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Defining C18 to snatch up the face. We're just doing a couple strokes here like that get that side of the And same thing, you just want to go in now and just, you know, really blend this out. So I just like to use a flat top brush and just flick it into the skin. And just, you know, just make sure it's buffed in there real good, honestly, you know. It's nothing, nothing to it but to do it. Ain't but a thing, but a chicken wing. <laughs> Period, poo. <laughs> a big perk. <laughs> Ooh. Bitch, you is funny. I'm searching for the real love. I'm searching for real All right, so now that everything's blended out, you I like to go in now back with my, whatever I blend out my foundation with. So I'm going back in with my beauty blender just to tap over everything. Some of y'all may already do this when you do your makeup. I don't though, cause I do like a little bit more of a, you know, like a, you know what I mean? Like a, that's what I prefer. Um, You know, so. I just go back in with my sponge now and I just go back over everything just to, you know, make sure it's a little bit softer because the camera is already going to, you know, because you're, you're still, there's no motion. So, yeah. And I know I, I, I use concealer to contour. I, I, was, I know y'all probably like, oh, that bitch put down that little foundation stick. Well, goddamn, 85 videos in now. She finally gonna put it down. <laughs> but I like to use the concealer to contour and, you know, do that because it dries a little bit faster and then it has a more matte effect. So it's just easier, especially for your picture. Sometimes I do it on my face, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, I really don't let that foundation stick go too funny cause yeah. So now we're going on to powder. Powder of course is super important because you don't want to look casket ready. I kind of mentioned this in the concealer video, you know, it's not the concealer that's giving you flashback, it's the powder. So, you know, I feel like people get so worked up about, you know, like concealer not blending properly and you're scared it's gonna, you know, look crazy. But it's not. You can blend any shade of concealer. You can take the whitest concealer there is and blend it on yourself and and it work. 
but what messes people up is the powder you know no one wants to use a tinted powder no one wants to use a translucent whiter powder you know what i mean like that's what you need to know and you need to know what works for you so you don't get that casket ready berry you know what i mean so i am taking i like to go in first with a tinted powder i don't go too crazy tinted though i use like a medium shade of tint or like a banana rich banana color um so i'm taking the laura mercier translucent honey powder as my first powder and it looks like this it's this it's this really pretty rich color it has a slight tint to it but when you blend it out as you will see in a second here it looks so pretty on the skin so like that and you just want to pounce this all the way in until the powder completely and I do mean completely disappear. So you want to work in sections to do this. Now, the only place that I don't let this powder here sit is on my nose. I let that sit up there for a while. Everywhere else it gets pushed all the way into the skin. Looks like it. So we're going to walk it up the nose. Keep in mind that, you know, that bridge is fake. I will attach that nose contour video for you. So you can, you know, kind of like see in depth, you know, how I really build that little sucker there up. Let's go into the forehead. I just love having my brows already done, y'all. <laughs> it's just such a life changer. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I'm going under your eyes now. If, like, I, uh, this is another thing. If your eyes tend to crease up, then you know you may want to start under your eyes first for your powder that way there's less time for anything to like sit in there does that make sense and we're just pushing this all the way in and if you notice i do two layers on each area of my face so all right so now that these uh scented <laughs> now that the tinted jesus erica get it together girl get it together the tinted powder is used to set my whole face i'm going in with the patrick star translucent powder y'all i found out the tea with this okay so a couple of you my subscribers was like bitch you didn't got played i was like i got played what are you talking about i'm like you know patrick just fucking cheated me but i don't know that deep so apparently but sephora's fixing it they're sending me more um <laughs> This is the trial size. And then there's a larger one that is the one that I thought I was ordering. So they sent me this instead of sending me the larger size one. So it should be here like any day now. But yeah. So we're going to see how big the actual full size powder is. You know, you can call that a damn day. I just cannot believe that mix up. Like somebody was drunk. Drunk, G, drunk. <coughs> Damn. Drunk. <laughs> so now we're just going back in. We're tapping into this powder. Now this powder, I let sit just for a little bit. So just, you know, give me that extra lift. And I only take it under the eye. Kind of, this is, so this is like the setting powder for the second concealer. If you may, if that's how you want to think about it. Um, yeah this powder brightens and this powder is going to sculpt everything that you need out okay so this is why i like leave this one and this is also why this one is translucent uh you don't want to bright you see it's not gonna brighten if it's tinted you know what i mean so and this trick will work on all skin tones even if you're the beautiful riches of ebony's or the palest of pale paleness you know all right i'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes real quick um i'm just gonna take my bronzer and dust that over the eye because i want to keep it pretty natural and i might do like a little shimmer on the lid because i'm feeling spicy i'm about to say i'm the first bird but i'm the thing i'm the on the thing i'm about to say <laughs> all right so i was gonna do like shimmer on the lid but i decided not to and you know just like really get in the face <laughs> um so now i'm taking the same bronzer this is the fenty beauty mocha mommy bronzer i just feel so pretty mm, 
like a hot tamale. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this on the nose. I just feel like bronzer. And y'all finna be sick of me. Y'all finna be sick of me, boy. Let me tell you. Y'all finna get so tired of hearing about blush and bronzer and how important it is. Y'all, y'all gonna be walking down the street. Bitch, you need some brush, blush. You need some bronzer. You need some out here. And that's on period. That's how y'all gonna be by the time y'all get finished with me in all these videos where I, where I get on y'all damn nerves about this blush and bronzer. But I feel like the more I say it, the more people will listen. You know what I mean? Like, you get pushed in your head so much. Just give it a shot. Like, I wouldn't tell you wrong, girl. I want you to look the fuck good. You know, I want people to look at you and be like, God damn, that bitch is bad. That's what I want for you, sis. I want people to see you and be like, oh. The bronzer took me out, but the blush took me back to life. Hallelujah. That's what I want for you. And you get a good bronzer and blush combination, I promise you, my head. I promise you that. I promise you. You want to know how I know? Because sometimes when I finish my makeup and I look at everything, I put my setting spray on. And I put my hoops in. And I see myself, I'll be like, God damn, that bitch look good. I'll be like, oh, Jesus. God damn it. That's bad, bitch. Drop the mic. Cause you need it. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story. Blush and bronze, people. Blush and bronze. Bronze and blush. It's, it's simple. It's big. Simple. You can't put, look how, look, you know, this is how y'all be walking down the street and then put an ass of highlight on. You got to mix it with the blush. Or you have neither one. Hello, where's the definition? And for blush, I am taking my Holy Grail Zulu palette. Juvia's need cut me a deal. This is the fourth palette, y'all. Just for that color combination I'll be making with that pink and that orange and that yellow. So we just gonna. Ooh, ain't nothing like a fresh, fresh palette though. God, dog. That bitch look good. So here we go. Look like a Tropicana slushy, but when you just twirl that on you. Wait a minute, hold up. Just, just swirl it. Just, just bask in it. Love it. Breathe it. Ugh. I'm dead. <laughs> I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Get you a good blush and bronzer. Period. I ain't gonna say no more this video about it. I'm just looking at y'all like this. Like, I ain't even finished blending it. And it's just, it's already hitting. It's hitting. Y'all heard money bag. All right, and I'm gonna take the rose gold color as my highlighter. Put a little extra on the forehead, not that I'm bald. <laughs> So you want to go a little bit heavier on your spray when you're doing pictures because not only do you want your makeup to last, but because you just want to mush it all together. It's almost like a sandwich. Like I start with spray and I end with spray. Okay. Um, so you want to go a little heavier. Now holding your breath the whole time, y'all, I'm windy. Like, so that's why I'm like breathing heavy because I gotta catch my breath. Like, whoo. Oh, holding my breath so long as now I think I saw stars. It's like, oh. ta da we got some motherfucking eyewees on. <laughs> now, 
This pussy shit going with that asthma pun. I got him coughing and wheezing. He in and out, in and out, breathing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this pussy shit going with him. <laughs> All right, we're going to put a little bra gel through there real slightly because they are tinted and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to wipe my brows that much. Yeah. So, of course, what is this look missing? A new lip. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the final look. I feel good. I look good because I am good. <laughs> So I'll attach the look like in a floating thing and then I'll also put it down in the description box for what I am wearing. Um, that way you know how, how I apply my lipstick, how I make them last and thing like that because I just didn't feel the need to put that in this video. So I'll attach that in the description box. Now you are ready to go get you some badass pictures, sis. Let me see y'all on the ground poster. <laughs> Let me see what you working with. So I will see y'all in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you thought. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you're going to be using these tips or not. Because, you know, or if you just going to be feeling so damn good after you damn do this right here, you ain't even going to think about Polo and love me. That's just what's going to happen, ain't it? But it's okay. I love you anyway. You know, we, we I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> I love y'all, and I will see y'all in my next video.